this ride along as most of my ride alongs uh, you guys are enjoying and I think you would appreciate it. But right now we got a little bit of a traffic jam here on Nash Road in the lovely quiet town of Wheatfield. So how are you, Lizzie? I am doing pretty good. Looking forward to going to the splash pad later and enjoying the sunshine. Nice. Now tell me again what you did with your family because I find it so funny about the uh, Romeo and Juliet that happened in Buffalo. Ah, so Shakespeare in the Park. Yes. The second oldest and one of the biggest Shakespeare groups <laughs> in the continental U.S. Nice, very awesome. Decided that they were going to do Romeo and Juliet, but not your typical Romeo and Juliet. They did it at uh, a modern beach theme, Ooh. and they sprinkled in the use of bro at the most appropriate and most hysterical times. Awesome. And, um, like, the masquerade ball was a beach party. Oh, great. And uh, when they were training it was like tai chi and their fight scenes involved Funny. like kung fu it was hysterical it was really really good um not a whole lot of kids my kids were not um super impressed yes. but as is with shakespeare so they'll get their their cultural exposure and it'll be wonderful now i am very concerned because there is no traffic on the boulevard like there usually is, is that it's always... also early Right, and the lunch rush is brunch lunch rush is over. Yeah. yeah. So the road is ours. Nice. Yahoo. Oh, they got a new sign. Ooh. Mm, must be doing a good business. I hope so. I never see them open though. That's weird. Yeah, yeah. It's a local business too. So. Maybe it's like takeout or something. Hmm. Maybe still, but I thought they were not my business. I don't care. I do wish them the best. Hmm. So yeah, what I usually do with this series is I after I upload it, I put it to music, like on the music library that YouTube has. Because it just means like I don't have much to talk about. So I'm glad you came along. Yay! I can help. Yes. No, you were quite helpful actually, uh earlier today. And with that, I thank you and appreciate it. Oh, you are so welcome. Now, for people that don't know me, I am a computer nerd. I can geek out almost over anything. With that, I bought PC parts from Amazon on Prime Day. And I made a killing. Because uh, what happened was I bought $3,000 worth of stuff under 1000 bucks. And unfortunately, I forgot that my new board did not have Wi Fi ability. Oops. So, what I ended up doing was buying a very, very nice antenna uh, for my board. And I still ended up being, um, I think it ended up being a thousand even. Nice. Yeah. Well, I also am returning stuff because my friend gave me parts. Yahoo. And I am gaining back 250 bucks. I cannot complain. Right. Plus, you helped me with the compatibility issues uh, earlier this morning, which were awesome. And why don't you, why don't I stop talking and have you explain why we are together? Why we work together? Yeah. In case people don't know that People Inc. is an organization in Western New York and that jazz. Oh, yes. So I am hanging out with my friend David. We work together through self direction with People Inc. And every day is different with us. Yes. I think that's one of my favorite parts of working uh, with you. Yes, yes, likewise. Uh, yeah, every day is different. And, um, we are gently nudged to work on responsible stuff and not just make content, which is fine. And we did that. We did lots of that today. And, uh, yeah, we work together on what is most important to you and what is most important to the people that really care about you. 
Awesome. Now, with creating content, going back to that area, I am up to 100 subscribers. Woot woot! Yeah, I remember you telling me congratulations belatedly. Yeah, it dropped below 100 for maybe a couple days, but I'm back to 100. Nice. So I need only 400 more people to like me enough to get and start modernization. Nice! Yes. That's why I think when you're not making money, it's most important to make content that matters to you. Yeah. Because that way if you never make money, it doesn't take it doesn't detract from the experience. Yeah, and I also feel like that well, I'm never going fast enough on the NFB when it's only forty and look at that. Why? If you have more places to go, better places to go, you go for it if you're in a rush. Right. I, I don't guess. care. Yeah, bye bye. Bye. It's always important to get those three buys. You know why? Why? It's like... So the bye, 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 bye. Yes, that. <laughs> it's like... I mean, look at this. They passed me. I'll need to get a true about like, How dumb are people? So dumb. But we got a cute dog. The, the Jeep. Oh. Next to us. <gasps> oh. Bye-bye. Super cute. What a cutie. I guess not gonna stick out. But it's like summon sum summonizing. Whatever I what am I saying here? Summarizing? No. Summoning. That's the word. Yeah. It's like people oh. do it during Jedi stuff. I do it to get NSYNC back. <laughs> I like it. Yes. Like your style. Yes. I'm trying to summon the ghost of in boy band past. Like your style. I would not complain if 98 Degrees decided to go on tour. Well, ironically, there is a thing that some of the boy bands do with malls now. Um, they're playing malls around the country. Interesting. And one of them was 98 Degrees. With four of the guys. I would. And Chris Patrick from Insync. I'm if, like. If Nick was there, I my would. My mind there. would explode. Yeah. My mind would. But my dream, as you may know, the but the internet people do not dream boy band fest. Mm -hmm. All the boy bands, all the boy bands all over the world, get them in one place, and just rock the crap out of that. That would be a really fun festival. Yeah. yeah. I'm not gonna lie, seeing Backstreet Boys was was crazy. I would love to see Backstreet Boys. <sighs> yeah, they're playing a great show. I, I've seen YouTube stuff. Yeah. It's really fun. I just can't afford the tickets. That's uh, the, the only reason. The one wasn't too bad. Oh, when right. The uh, Daring Lake. Yeah. The yes. one wasn't that bad. Okay. And uh, I did that Live Nation thing where it was $25 a ticket for like a whole bunch of different shows. And that that wasn't Backstreet Boys. But um, I got concert tickets for like, what, eight or nine different shows? Uh-huh. For 25 bucks a piece. That was like my birthday present to myself. Whoa. So if you keep a, an eye out for those <coughs> ticket sales, you can get really, you know, it shows pretty dang cheap. Nice. Yeah, I forget the, about the, the other stuff because I haven't been to concerts in a minute. Since 2002. Wow. Yeah, the last one, and thank uh, Celebrity Tour back then, HSBC. Dang. Now, ironically, when I was putting together No Strings Attached content, I found out they came during the No Strings tour. I'm like, stupid. <laughs> stupid, stupid, stupid. So. Can't know what you didn't, what you don't know. Yeah, of course, I wasn't big and didn't think I had their No Strings albums. I've been going to shows since I was a kid. Yeah, I think my last concert, well, my last concert was uh, Celebrity Tour of Insane because my parents are wonderful. And there goes my returns. Yep. <laughs> yeah, so basically, we are returning to this wonderful Amazon location that I am driving by. And uh, I could have made it. Yeah, the earliest shows that I remember going to were Rush with my dad and Bette Midler with my mom. Bette would have been good. Bette was so good. 
she was incredible. I still remember the theatrics of that show and just ah. being like just sitting literally in awe. She flew through the air and I was like, she's my fairy oh. godmother. No yes. one can tell me otherwise. Yeah, I could see that. I could oh, see that. Oh my god, I love her. I still love her. Yeah. She's good. Oh god, dude, I cried at Hocus Pocus too. Like, oh my gosh. Oh right. I sat and I cried because I love her and I love Hocus Pocus and it was just a wonderful experience. I forgot she was in it. So this is where we are going, and I'm going to try to back this up. You got this. I do. I'm so not. No, the lady on the phone for the UPS was very nice. Well, that's good. Yeah, I enjoyed our conversation. Hopefully our experience is much the same. Oh, the website was really confusing, too, so... Hashtag that. Because huh. right. UPS was confusing. So, we're at the UPS, and we are going to return some stuff. Here's for hoping. Here's for hoping. So, we're doing with this particular ups in Amherst. On to the government ups. Yes. Now, how did we get to the government ups? Because it's U.S. P.S. It's the official ups. The official ups of the U.S. government. It's right? Working. Hmm? We're working. Cool. So, yeah, going from Amherst to Niagara Falls. But my uh, question is, do the rest of the countries on planet Earth have the downs if we have the ups? What if the ups was just universal? Or not universal, but planetary one? Ooh. Now, off camera, you were talking a very interesting theory there. Purple ups. FedEx. FedEx. Yep. And my brain exploded. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm like, okay. They're not allowed to change the branding forever. No. They have to be purple forever now. Yeah, but they don't have purple trucks. I don't get that part. Yeah. Hmm. Actually, it's kind of funny. We're talking about ups and bad ups. There's a new show on the History Channel. Okay. Called The Mega Brands That Booked America. And it goes into the um, ups, FedEx... USPS. Dang. Yeah, it was pretty cool. It's interesting. Huh? I love any series that History Channel does. So. Nice. They also have the food that built America. I remember you talking about that. Uh, I always talk about it. Uh, the toys that built America. That's pretty cool. My personal favorite is. The technology that built America, they haven't done that one, so hint, hint, nudge, nudge there. <laughs> or, even better yet, the, te the technology that built the world. Mm -hmm. Oh my god! <laughs> well, I think that that one would be a much harder one to do, simply yeah. because access to technology is so different across the world. But they all use the same idea and platform. You, you get... We get, does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. But I think that technology would probably be, global technology would be the last one to use. Unless you're only talking about the superpowers. And even then, that's got a totally different flavor than global, like what built the world. Mm. You know what I mean? I was just mostly focusing on that particular idea. It's like um, Microsoft, Apple, because that's universal. That's planet. That's, that's what I was thinking Planetarily. Right, but not everyone in the world uses those. Because not everyone has access to those. Ah, okay. Like in third world countries, like they, they don't have phones. They don't even have running they don't have good drinking water. Do you know what I mean? Mm. So like their priorities yes. are not so completely different and their access to technology. Like we can go to the library and request a laptop for free like all you need is your id and a library card mm. and you can just have a laptop to use or you can sit at one of their desktops and use it for free where like there's a lot of places where you can't 
have drinking water unless you boil it first. And you have to walk five miles to go and get any kind of water, let alone drinking water. I so. think that is A, sad, and B, needs to be more advertised. Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, they do their charity advertisements on TV, but... But it's always for, like, the starving kids when the problems are so much, so much more complex and layered than that. Yes. You know, it's not, like... I don't know. Food in and of itself is like a sore topic with me because we have enough food to feed everyone yes. and we choose not to. And that just makes me inordinately angry. But when it comes to like global issues, like every person should have access to safe drinking water. Every person should have access to shelter. Every person should have access to food. Mm-hmm. They're, they're like, they're just as a, as a human community on the planet. Yes. There's a basic, I wish that was like a basic level of everyone's needs that got met, no matter where you were or what country you live in. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And it's not the case. No. So you can definitely say like, you could do like technology that built the superpowers. Okay. For sure. Okay. But I wouldn't say technology that built the world. Correct. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Because like if you're going to do that, like maybe transportation you could cover. Hmm. Because True. there's transportation in yes. every country. Obviously, some more limited than others. But they all have but, buses or a form of a car. Vehicle. Yeah, either car, buses, train, boat. You know what I mean? Yeah. Sometimes you yeah, have to fly in or something like that. Right. Like the um, National Glacier Park that's uh, up in Alaska. You have to either fly or boat in because it's not accessible by foot. Not yet. Uh, it won't. Nah. Never be. Yeah, because the glaciers. Oh, because right. they flow. Yes, yes. Yes. Okay. There's only seven tidewater ones <clears throat> left. Seven? Yeah. Down Out from of... nine. Down, yeah, down from nine. And that was just like, what, two or three years ago that there was nine? I believe Al Gore is drinking himself to death. <laughs> and Leonardo DiCaprio. <laughs> which is unfortunately funny. And unfortunate. Yes. For planet Earth. Yes. All of it. The one planet we have. Right. Although, I have to tell you, I read this thing online. You going um, to Mars? What? You going to Mars? No. Um, no. I, it does t- totally tie into that. Uh, but it was this woman um, whose partner works for NASA. Nice. And she was like, for anyone who is concerned that, like, a handful of billionaires will just leave planet Earth to burn and they'll go live like up in the space station or on Mars. Yeah. I'm here to tell you how impossible that is because right. there are teams of literally thousands of people yeah, they need that work to do that. constantly to keep just like the, the few people that are on the space station like alive. Yes. And it is so mentally and physically and emotionally draining to live in space that like a lot of people they will train for years to be able to do it and then retire after a year Mm. because it's just it's so exhausting in every way shape or form so she's like let me put those fears to rest and these billionaires who have not been training their whole lives do they have the money to get there for sure but if we're not here to take care of them they're not going to be taken care of one sec and we have a EMS coming by Ah. hope everything's okay you and me both I see a bulbar. Yeah, we have dogs. We've got dog alerts. Ooh. I, re- I didn't run into this accident. I actually... <laughs> okay, that was hysterical on my part. Uh, I just amused myself. Yay! So, I was driving home from... Lockport on Monday. Okay. And I think it was on Town Line Road. And there was an accident. It's like, okay. But... You know, with my dash cam and the ride along series, I got it on video. And it was uh, one of those bug guys, Oregon. Oh, no. Yeah. I don't think anybody got injured, and I really well, didn't. Good. I didn't notice that. And I didn't. I think they just swerved to avoid each other. Gotcha. At least from the angle that I got and looked at. Gotcha. Any good plans for the weekend? Uh, yep. I don't remember what they are. Well. One moment, please. No problem. Live on this calendar. 
So this weekend, so on Friday, I'm gonna go see Fall Out Boy during like score. And then Saturday, I'm having a garage Oop, sale. Now we got another. Uh, must be yep. something in the back of us. Yep. And then Sunday, I'm gonna go to Ghibli um, Chalk Festival during the day. And then in the evening, I'm gonna go see Godsmack and Dragon Lake. Wow. When I tell you that I got tickets for like eight shows, <laughs> I'll meet it. I used to listen to Godsmack when, um, cause I'm not all about boy bands, obviously. Uh, when I was working out, they were, they were pretty cool. Mm -hmm. uh, the last time I saw Godsmack was when I was in high school and they came to Shays. Ooh. Like, Shays. Theater. That's crazy. It was so crazy. But they're a big uh -huh. fire pyro. Yep. Huge metal band. Well, not metal, but hard rock. Yeah. How did that come it, with? It, you know what? It was a really cool show. They worked cool it show. out, huh? Yeah, it was a really cool show, but it was not what the venue was so weird. Yes, yes. Very mismatched, but I mean, it, it was cool. I appreciated it. They didn't do any crazy stuff. They didn't, uh, they worked it out. They didn't have to go to Capolino, Tom York, here in Western New York to work it out, did they not? They did not. Listen. Yeah, I'm gonna be famously plugging almost anything I can think of locally. Which is fine. Helps the economy. Yes. I hope. Now, as we come up on to Niagara Falls, we're still in, still in the town of Newfield. Mind's eye. I was very, very curious and wanting to know what are they doing? Because beyond the cones, as you can say, they are working on the NFB. I think they're, they're doing, putting in. Yes. They're doing patches. Uh, I thought they were just putting in turning lanes because they've got new poles. Mm -hmm. And they've moved them back. That's what made me think oh, they yeah, were maybe. doing turning lanes. Yeah, maybe. Which makes sense. Yeah. Or it looks like they're doing patches as of right now. Uh, well, that's just weird because that's not. But okay, this is the other half of I call the NFB. Ooh, I'm not doing good. Not when it's down to that. So we'll probably have to wait for another light change. But coming up after this intersection is the craziness that is the continuation craziness of Niagara Falls Boulevard. And, yeah, light change. And I still have no idea what's going on. And, okay, whatever. Excuse me, it looks like they're probably laying down some new pipes, too. Mm. I bet you that's why they moved the poles back, is to lay the new pipe. New sewage, maybe. Ooh, interesting. Yeah, I can see some of it on the right there. Oh, they took out. Oh, yeah. Okay. Hmm. Darn, I was hoping they were widening NFB. Yeah. Just for a little bit. I mean, traffic-wise, according to my parents, because... Uh... They've been longer. Yes, that's what I was looking for. I'm trying to think of how to say how old they are without actually saying they're old. Kind of did. Um... Uh, yeah, definitely new pipes. Okay. Well, that ruined my dream. Sorry. That's okay. I know I'm supposed to uplift your dreams, but okay. Well, I've been dream crushed so many times. Eh. Yeah. You know, that's good that they actually opened up this lane again. No, my thought was um, that they would need to make... Niagara Falls Boulevard, four lanes each way, but it doesn't look like it. My parents actually remember Niagara Falls Boulevard is two lanes. Wow. Yes. Yeah, still can't figure out what's going on in the park either, so... Oh, Oppenheim! Yep. Yay! Yeah. So are we having the kids' birthday party? Nice. Mm -hmm. I really like their splash pit. I did not know they had one. Oh, it's so fun. 
because all I see is the road. I don't, I don't normally go in the park because, you know. Right. Yeah, the obvious. I get you. Um, well, mostly crowds. <laughs> so, yeah, they've got that. They do. They have that in spades. Ooh. Well, that's a new side, side road. The road isn't new, but the crossroad side is. Shrine. Yes. I love that place. One of my friends took me there once. It's such a beautiful. I enjoyed myself. I love going there at Christmas time. Ah. They have like the best Christmas light display. Oh, oh, right. No. Game over there, lady. <laughs> <laughs> I will happily go with you. You 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 name the day. Okay. You could be driving because... Oh, I'll uh, do night driving. Yeah, I got oh, you. Oh, that too. I got you covered. Oh, that'll be a fun trip. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm surprised that you don't go to all the light shows of all people in the world. <laughs> I would love to, actually, now that... Let's see how I say The circumstances have... Changed. Like, yeah, it's changed. Are you going to go to his imagination? With all the lights in the evening? I did not. I, I forgot my hearing aids and forgot my medical button, so. Oh, cool. Yes. Cool. Yeah, I am working with nothing. Got it. Yes. So, at the zoo, zoo, they have a whole bunch of different animal light displays Ooh. called Zoomagination. Ah. So, you may enjoy that. I plan on taking my gremlins there at some point. Nice. Yeah, I don't know. I'm definitely willing to do. You know, take a car, blah, 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 all those. Where you drive around. Oh, like the Hamburg Fairgrounds? Yes. Yes. But if you are saying other areas are having it, I'm like, okay. Tiny prop plane taking off. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah, there's a little airport. Yeah, that is for the Niagara Falls Army base back in the day. Mm -hmm. We now just use it for A, air shows, and B, there still is some military here in Niagara Falls because despite Canada being our ally, we still have a military presence just to mm, enforce yes. the border. Yes, just just in case something goes funky up there. I don't expect it. Uh -uh. In fact, I am one of the people on planet Earth that I'm like, let's drop the border restrictions for Canada. Why do we need fencing for Canadians? I don't get it. Yeah. That's just dumb. Agreed. If anything, the fencing would be to keep Americans in. I'd love to go live in Canada. Me too. Take me to Toronto. I actually watched this guy in Toronto. And I love this guy. He's really cool. It's called, it's, his channel is called The Ken Continu Continuum. He walks Toronto, different yes. areas. And I always have a good time watching him. Nice. Hi to The Ken Continuum show. <laughs> As we continue to name drop a lot of stuff. Now this particular shot coming up is one of my favorite shots on Niagara Falls Boulevard because you have all the businesses. Mm -hmm. I do enjoy that. Good old pair of smoke tin. I never understood the name of it. Because do you have people speaking French in there and American? I don't get it. No. Alrighty. That actually looks like a good shopping park here. Get to watch a lot of good traffic. 
Actually, that'd be a really good vlog too. Traffic watch. Do you want me to just hang out here and let your phone go while you go return this, or do you want us to go in? That is up to you. Would you like to stay, or would you like to go? Should you stay, or should you go? This is your show. You tell me. Um. Quite literally and figuratively. <laughs> this is true. Uh, can you think of stuff to talk about? Sure. Cool. Absolutely. I will leave you here with my phone and my friend subscribers. Heard. So, with David's brother, I take him out in the community, and he loves to walk, and he likes to hike as long as the terrain isn't too crazy, so I have been doing some research into different parks and walking trails and um, different places for us to go and explore. Um, probably one of the hardest hikes he's ever done was going to Akron Falls here in Akron Buffalo and uh, at the base it, it becomes there's tons of rocks and of course it's wet because of the creek and you know it's the base of the waterfall but he has done it where he makes it all the way to the waterfall we tried doing the Niagara Falls gorge hike and that did not work out too well just because the train was a little bit too tough for him and you know he gets scared and that's totally okay. The whole point of my time with him is to um, help him be more comfortable in the community and not make him more scared. <laughs> so that's in the back of my mind as to where I might be able to take my friend next week. And then next week I will also be in the wilderness with the uh, Boy Scouts and Cub Scouts of America over at Scout Haven. That'll be a really good time. And yeah, then this weekend is all filled with concerts. Definitely that'll be a good time. August is just going to be a crazy month. Crazy and filled with lots and lots of good memories. So big yay. If anyone has any thoughts, uh, we did pass by the Oppenheim Park somewhere I do like to take David's brother, somewhere I am planning on having my kid's birthday party. Uh, there's going to be, there's a whole bunch of different stuff. So if anyone has any suggestions on how to make that an awesome experience for everyone, let me know, especially food ideas. I was just going to do cold cuts and, uh, chips and individual baggies with the stuff. So we shall see how that goes. I'm looking forward to it. I'm not ready for the summer to be over. That's for sure. I feel like the summer always goes so fast, especially when you have uh, gremlins, as I like to call them. So you want to do all of the things and show them all of the things, and then all of a sudden all your time is just poof, gone. Back to school we all go. I feel like today would be a good day for ice cream. Maybe like the drive-in movies or something like that too. David and I were talking about going to go see Oppenheim as well as the Barbie movie, both of which I'm very hot to see, and I've heard excellent reviews of both. So, Regal has this thing where you can pay like 20 some dollars and go see as many movies as you want. And I don't know, I feel like it'd be worth it. Because even if we just got it for a month, like if you can buy it and then cancel it with no restrictions, I feel like that would be worth it for David and I because then we can go see a whole bunch of movies, cancel the subscription, and just wait until there's a whole bunch of movies that we want to go see again. Oh, and it's a subscription. I wonder if uh, David Services would pay for it. I'm going to have to ask him that. Because that might be an inspired idea. Because figure, the money for the subscription is the cost of two movie tickets, which is what we were talking about. So that might be... A good plan. And then we could do a double header. Gosh, I haven't done a double header at the movies in forever. Ever since they had the cheap movies. Um, oh gosh, I can't remember what it was called. There was one on Elmwood. And then there was one that was behind the Lowe's. At the uh, Walton Galleria. Both were just wonderful places. 
movies would be like two bucks or five bucks. When my mom used to work in foster care, she would always recommend the families go to the cheap movies. And um, sometimes we'd run into families there and it would always be a good time. Be a whole row of us kids. <laughs> mm. Although the drive-in is really nice. I particularly, I think the drive-in is my favorite because I'm old now and uh, uh, with the AMC's and the Regal's with that glorious seating with the recliners, oh, I just want to go to sleep. Just give me a blanket and I will pay $15 to go and take a nap. <laughs> Welcome back. Yeah. I talked the whole time. Ooh. I talked the whole time. Yay. What do you think your self-directed plan would pay for the Regal subscription? Because it just occurred to me, what if they would? Doesn't hurt to ask. Right? And then what if they would pay for mine? Because we're talking about going to go see Oppenheim and Barbie. Yeah. And that movie subscription is cheaper than going to the movies twice. And then we could do like a double header and then we can go see as many movies as we wanted to go see. That's a freaking mind blown. Wow. Right, I'm using my big brain now. You talked that out to my subscribers? I sure That's... did, yeah. Cool. <laughs> That's what happens when you leave me by myself. <clears throat> with a camera. It's like leaving a dog and having a dog on it with a GoPro. I've watched a couple of those videos. <gasps> They're so cute. Oh uh-huh. So, wow. Right? I'm trying to figure out how to get out of here, but then my, my brain's like, what? Oh, uh, is it okay if we start heading back towards your house? Yeah. Fantastic. I may Thank have you. to go that way and go around the block. That's totally fine. Mm. I am going to look up <laughs> and check out about the real subscription. Yeah. Let's get some more information on this. Regal Unlimited Movie Subscription Pass. Truly unlimited movie. That Sorry about your... that. My water bottle. Yeah. My water for the day. For less than the cost of two tickets a month, you'll see as many 2D movies as you want, as many times as you want, whenever you want. Score. And it's only for 2D. Well, that's kind of ironic because my brother's meeting is tomorrow. Yeah. Convenient. Right? Movie subscription plans. Wow, it's eighteen ninety nine a month. I remember when it was like. 10, 12, whatever it is. When you sign up, you can commit to either a three month or a 12 month subscription. Ooh. You can either pay for the full commitment all at once or pay oh. monthly. After the end Fine. of your commitment, you will convert to a month to month subscription. Wow, okay. I think they should just, I should just give them my account and routing number. Like right now. Right? Do like, Okay, so Regal Unlimited is eighteen ninety nine a month. Right. Regal Unlimited Plus is twenty one ninety nine a month, and Regal Unlimited All Access is twenty three ninety nine a month. It would literally be twenty four dollars, I think, maybe even more than that, just to go to the movies twice. So I feel like if we signed up for the three months, for which plan though? We could do like the eighteen ninety nine a month one. Okay. I don't know what the difference. Okay. Um, well, one was Regal Plus, one was Regal Unlimited. Right. That's what made me start to question that part.
I'm still running high on Diaz. Very, very enthused about getting 250 bucks back. Usually said it's not that's weird. That's not saying. Yeah, because the only thing that like compares them is the Regal Crown Club versus the Regal Unlimited. Ah, uh, now what's that? Oh, right. Because I don't know what the Unlimited Plus and what the Unlimited All Access means. Yeah, it's kind of weird that they don't have that. Hmm. Let's go. We'll go to New York. Mm hmm. We'll go to Buffalo. <laughs> mm hmm. So uh, it looks like to go to the Regal at Elmwood or the Regal Walden Galleria, we need the Unlimited Plus or higher. Hmm. So let's go back and see. So that would be the twenty one ninety nine a month. Okay. Like I, wow, that saved me a lot of money. Number one. What's that? The idea. Oh yeah, because even just going to go to this Lena's. None of a bitch. But yeah, even just to go see Barbie and Oppenheimer. Yeah. Like, worth it. Yeah. And then we can just go to the movies. Yeah. Right? I mean, that's a lot of content, but yeah, I love it. I don't hurt to ask, I assume. Right? I'll text my people. Well, your people are my people. Yeah, we're people are the same. Yeah. But, uh, but yeah, yeah, I would definitely ask about it. I'd be like, is this an option? Because I know that my staff activity fees are going to get paid, but I yes. don't know if they would pay for like a subscription uh. as like a staff activity fee. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, like and I then have our, to pay for each ticket individually. Well, you you know how I love to elevate stuff in my life. Yes. And kind of pick each other's brain to make sure we are on A, the same page, but also B, move stuff forward so other people can have, not what I have, but what am I trying to say? Other people can... Have more opportunities than you have. Yes. Yes. So if I break the mold and do... What we're thinking of. And then you can open the opportunity for other people as well. Yes. I love it. <laughs> this is why we're awesome. Agreed. This is why when you get a gay together, everything just works out. <laughs> we do have a habit of getting things done. Yes. Not this day, water bottle. Not this day. So then would Amazon Prime be the blue ups? Oh, look at you, always. <laughs> with the mind-blowing analogy. <laughs> well, blue We're is so my silly. favorite color. Yes. Green is my favorite. Hey. There's a lot of that in the world. Mm. Both good and bad. Yes. My, my bad green would be poop. My bad green would be money. <laughs> I think we're still getting Canadian smoke. So oh, it's yeah. Not blue, blue. That's not cloudy. I wonder what the air quality is today. Let's Free the ball. That's all I care about. I know, right? Because I threw out all my masks, so I'm hoping it's, you know, not pretty decent. Oh, yeah, it's pretty decent. Good, good. So, my same, roughly same topic of YouTube, we're going a little bit ago. 
uh, I need your advice actually because we do we have the ride along series. Yeah. I have the ride along series. Yes. Um, we were thinking about doing a new series together called Plaid. Sure. Um, do we do Lad or do we do the Ride Along series? And that's it. Uh, something I'm thinking about. Because I can do Ride Along by myself, obviously, just put it to music like I've been. True. And then when you and I get together, we can do Lad. What would the difference be? Uh, mine, you and I would be doing a ride along, but we would be recording in places, if possible. Okay. If possible. Yeah. If not, no. Come on. Here we go. Uh. Okay, let help. What is it that you're Boom. Thank the holy fever and we are back. <laughs> How many nerds did that take? It took two nerds. You know what? We got it. That's all that matters. And we did our job at this particular US. Up. And we have to go to Niagara Falls to a USPS. Yes, the other kind of the official ups. Would you say? How would you say that? Let's see. The government ups. The government ups. Yes. I like that. We got the private ups. And we got the government ups. So are the rest of the countries down? Mm. I mean, we never really figured what that. What we call the X? The purple ups? Ooh. And I want to know why this is not recording. 